What is up guys, it's Bob Asian Monster with another brand new career mode episode. This time I've decided to do a season with Celeste Sarsfield as I want to do something aside the real career mode. So don't worry about this career mode will be recorded from now on. Recorded daily as for this career mode will be recorded once every two or three days. Of course, first we're going to check the squad just to see what the team is. So Sosa as the goalkeeper. Cubero got Dragovic on a free transfer actually. Dominguez and Papa. Then here in CDM we have Francesco Cero, who's if I'm correctly he's 25 yes. Then August August Augustine Alione, 18 years old only. Then we have Canteros in left mid 24 and then Le Landro Paredes 75 and only 19 so a very good player and of course then we have Mauro Zorat who surprisingly went to Felix Sarsut which I didn't know and Lucas Prato then of course you probably why the intro why is Lucas Svieto in there as I got Lucas Svieto as well in the squad still a very young player good physical stats and just very young so it's also Valentin Viola Rescaldani, Fernandez, Akos Elek, 25 years old, Lucas Romero, who also has a Marobo Tiskirmo, who was already at the club, Giannetti, and Insua. Then we have Brian Ferreira, Cacheres. Perefan, Fernando Tobio, Grozov, Cabral, and last player, Copete. Now, as here, this is going to be Argentinian career mode. We have young, valuable players who are the to And as you can see here, we have our first friendly against Burnley at home. And hopefully we will get a good win here. So I'll see you guys in the first. What is up guys to the first game of this episode for Felix Sarsfield. The first friendly game. And it's actually against the Burnley. A very interesting side as we're playing at home of course and spark completely moving to your to your athlete to Argentina for this game. Still a very interesting game to see our squad just seeing how they're gonna play this game. Now hopefully we will get a win here to boost our morale a bit. Now as see here as said this will be career mode every two or three days. Having said that just look, take a look, quick look at starting eleven and just very interesting to see of course Sosa, Cubero, Drugfeet, Dominguez, Papa, Cerro, Aleona, Canteros, Paredes, Zrat and Prato and of course a very young Benjo F and the Burnley side with Heaton, Trippier, Long, Shackle, Me, Arfield, Jones, Marnie, Stanislas, Ings and folks as I know Danny Ings a very good player Young, good striker. Having said that, let's get on with the game. So here I added some graph back so it should look better for you guys, but I said it, let's go. Trotte, oh come on, should have done better there with the chance. Oh, unlucky. Come on! Oh, Canteros. As you can see, I decided to make immediately three, three substitutes. Alec coming on, Fernandez coming on, and Vieto coming on. So three fairly young players going on for the side. Hopefully, they will get us the win here. Yes, Papa. Oh, risky, risky, very risky. Oh, come on, other side.
Come on, turn on this again. Oh my god. One ball's going straight to the player. Look, he comes. Fernandez. Olione! Fuck's sake. Fernandez. Fieto! Contero! Yes! 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 Paredes! Was Paredes who scored still? 1 0. Come on! Actual. Finally a goal. We deserve this. Come on! 1-0 Yes, come on, 1-0 win I will take that definitely It's a good overall performance for us Definitely a good win Hopefully we will continue this year Clear stats, we were the better team Possession wise we were even But still we have more shots, more chances And hopefully we will keep this up See you guys probably next time with some transfer news in this Or the second game And so I'll see you guys soon as you can as you can see here guys I made one new signing before the second game against Valencia in in the second friendly. It's here Sam Byron 71 overall very good player just excellent for the team I offer 3 point not 3 point 2 million if I'm correctly plus a cheap old player and the fact is he's only 19 so he has a lot of room to grow and he can even play right mid when wanted so a very good signing for us overall just putting him right in the substitute as we still have Cubero who's gonna stop at the end of the season but who is slight, slightly older he's actually 15 years older but still a very good signing for us welcome guys to the second game of this episode an away game against Dijon if I'm correctly in the Euro Park so it's not a big stadium still a very compact game as it's a second friendly and we're hoping to get another winner of course we have the new signing Sam Byron in the substitutes and hopefully he will make his debut today in the team and for us we are now looking into signing a new young left back as our left, left back is very old as well so hopefully that will be sooner than or later I think that's that said let's get on with the game and there's the formal team of them we have the same team we only changed the substitute so having said that let's just get on with the game come on yes 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 early goal Paredes very well played from us and just a very good overall attack very well done and just a good finish come on 1-0 Fourth minute already. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh no! Fuck! And it's straight back after very, very poor defending of me. And Tavares scores the 1-1. One -one. Just very poor done for me. Just very laid back defending. Shouldn't have done it. Get the pressure on. Come on. Come on, Prato. I uh, yes. Ref, ref was about to say. Deserved penalty, just a very bad tackle, and a very late call from the referee. Still penalty, nevertheless. Come on, you can take the lead again. And who is it? Paredes. Well, I'm gonna change it to. Let's see, Mauro Zarate. If. The thing will let me out. Yes, Zarate. Come on. Come on, Zarate. Come on, please. 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 Yes. Come on. Get in. Zarate with the 2 1. Very well done. We take the lead again. Yes. 2 1. Come on. As you can see here, guys, I decided to make two substitutes. Lucas Prato coming on for Valentin Viola and our new signing Sam Byron coming on as well just so we have some fresh players young Sam Byron coming of course for Kubero and hopefully he will come up for us come on Zarate oh unlucky come on they're making a substitute obviously um, I don't even know this too come on come on yes yes Dragovic with his first goal for the club 3-1, come on, get in! Very well done. Oh, Paredes. 
Paredes. Yes, four run right after the three one. We caught the ball of them. The ball to Paredes who ran through defense, couldn't stop him. And slow, hard shot into the bottom corner. Four on. Come on. She's quickly gonna make a sub here. Gonna make a sub. Yay! Corner. So you can see here, we are also gonna make our last substitute of the game. Lucas Romero coming on for Chero. Or Chero. However you want to say it, I want to say Chero. Seer, just our last substitutes. Young players, Romero is. Hopefully he will do well. Can he do it? For a cross into Paredes. Yes! 5-1 Paredes. What a cross and what a header. Powerful header. Keep couldn't stop it. Perez running away from the defender. And I found quite like this is his hat trick. It's just a very good overall result this is. Ah, oh, come on. Still a very good overall result for Sway1. Perez indeed with the hat trick. Was was looking at a draw to the honest, but after we scored with Zarate. Just a very good overall result for us. We were all over them again. Just we finished our chance in Paredes with a very good overall performance, just very well done. So I'll see you guys in the last game of this episode and this also the last friendly. So I'll see you guys soon. Welcome guys to the third game of this episode and as well the last game of this episode. A CRF home game against Jeju United FC team I've never heard of, but it's probably as from the name and the players, they're probably from South Korea or something like that. Still, for, for the last game in this episode, last friendly, and I've decided to sell our center back Dominguez, which as he was 33 and 74 overall. He was still good, but very old, and for his replacement we have Fernando Toby, who was sitting in the reserves, which I didn't know about him, he's only 23, and if I'm currently 72 or 73, so we can use him very well instead of Dominguez. And it really isn't a big loss. And of course, Jeju United having a foreign player, Brazilian most likely. And hopefully, and Seer, another foreign player, as you can clearly see from the face actually. Just letting a look at the lineup, Seer, Tobio, and we also have Grodjaf and Grod yeah, Grodjaf in the reserves as the young center forward. Also, as you. Having a look now at their team, they have indeed they have Madashi and Pedro Junior. They're both two foreign players. Of course, they have Maranhão and Rodriguinho. So they have about three Brazilian players, and probably someone around the Balkan area in the defense. So hopefully, this will be another win. And let's go. Offside, clearly. Again, offside again, they're very attacking as you can see, so... Oh, fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. New, new, new. Fuck, 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 fuck! Could have expected Lee Union. No clue who the fuck that is. The, still, they managed to score first after a defending mistake. And again, look at the defending just there. Where the actual fuck is my left back? Unbelievable. Come on. Come on. Yes, get in. Alione hitting straight back at them with the 1 1 farewell plate from Paredes again and smashed into the net by Alione. Come on. Oh, fuck off. Sweaty motherfucking guns. A Legion O with a second goal but puts us behind. It's very much. Bullshit what I'm seeing here. And just bad defending shit out most of them easily there. Just piss off. Come on, Zarate. Come on! Yes! Hitting straight back again! Mauro Zarate with a very well placed shot in the right top corner. Goalkeeper couldn't reach and just very well and come on! 2-2, two, two. what a game this is already. Dragovic, yes, get in, 3-2 before half time, what a play before this corner, but still very well headed in from Dragovic, come on. 
Excuse me guys, we're gonna make one substitute Grudge of Conlon for Paredes. Giving us first appearance for the team, of course, center forward to come play as I can. And hopefully he will play very well for us indeed. Indeed, yes. Zarate. Come on, three. No, wait, yeah. No, four, fucking two. Zarate running away through with the ball, keeping his school in front of the goal, shooting at fair one. Come on, four, two. Just keep this lead going. So, as you can see here guys, I decided to make my last two substitutes. As Chero was, is going out injured, I put up Sam Byron. And of course, in the striker position, I put Fernandez up for Prato. Hopefully, you will have a soon recovery. Bro! Wow, did you miss that? How? What a goal! What a fucking goal from Grotschaf! But what a play! Fernandez with the ball to Zarate. One touch, through ball and Zarate and Gurtev just on time with a finish to give us a 5-2 lead. What a game! Piece of fucking cake. Yes! Come on! What a win for last game. Just 5-2. What a win! But what kind of place we had. JJ Knight being a very well team and actually this game a very tough opponent but after Zarate scored the second goal I knew we were gonna take the lead with Dragovic, Zarate and Grotjev. What a place this, what a game this was and very well playing style we had but giving the ball around. Just let's take a quick look at stats. As you can see dominating again the only problem is we concede too much of a goal we just concede too many goals, they had two shots on target and they were the two goals and we don't want that, they had more possession but we had more shots and the goals so I hope you guys definitely enjoyed this new career mode episode as I told before Real Batiste will be back, I'm gonna record it after this actually that will be back daily and Valley Surfield career mode will be uploaded to or three days in between as also of other games to upload. So my name is Bias Must and I'll hope to see you guys next time.